Hey guys, it's Ken down here at Camping World of Asheville, and I wanted to do a quick video on this guy right here. This is the Coleman Lantern 17 Rear Bath, with 17R. A great little couple's camper. It's small, it's lightweight, it's got all the basics on the inside. Perfect for you first time campers or even long time campers. I mean, it's just a great little camper. So let's go inside and check it out. Now, right up here in the very front cap of your new travel trailer is this nice air conditioner, a side mounted air conditioner, four bolts, easy in, easy out, blowing air straight into your camper right there. Don't have to worry about it being on the roof. Don't have to worry about roof leaks. It's right here on the side. That's a very good feature. Look at this. You got nice window treatments over the window here. Got you a queen size bed right up front. Lift up the queen size bed and you got a nice foot locker right here for blankets and that sort of thing if you need it. You've got all this space right here to sleep in. And then you got a nice shelf over here across the top for books and that sort of thing. And a little bitty end table right there on the end. And there's your GFI outlet right there that's next to that little end table that I was showing you right there. And then of course right here you can put your television. You've got your hookups right up there for your cable and another GFI outlet. Look at this. This is an electric fireplace. You've got heat that comes out of this register right here. If you're hooked up to electricity, you don't have to use your LP gas to heat up the inside here. You've got it all right here. Plus, you have the nice ambiance of the fireplace there. Got you a sink right here with a high-rise gooseneck faucet right there. Right here is your cooktop cook top right here. That also works off of LP gas. Two drawers right here. Not only two drawers, but two glass accented cabinets right up over that sink. Over here is your microwave. You've got a nice large microwave right there and a refrigerator. Whoops, it opens the other way. How about that? There's your refrigerator. Got a little bit of freezer up here. And there you go. That is the kitchen side of this amazing camper. Now, opposite of your kitchen is this nice spacious dinette. And what's really cool about this dinette is that this uh, table right here is not connected to the wall. You can turn it over, fold it up. You can actually take it outside and use it if you need to. But here, we're going to fold it up right quick. Oh, I don't pinch my fingers. There, I did it the wrong way. Fold it up. Like I said, you can move it outside if you want to or put it down flat right here. And then, of course, you've got more bed space right here. So if you do have a grandchild or another child some spending the night with you, you've got plenty of space to lay down right here on the dinette set. And the other cool thing about the dinette set also as well is that it also has extra storage. On both sides, the dinette lifts up and you've got plenty of storage down here for blankets. That's on either side of the dinette table. Let me show you this side really quick. More storage right up under here. Put that back down there. And then of course your bed. And let's not forget, there's also glass accented cabinets right up here. Look at that. So last but not least, we're gonna go into that rear bath. There's your toilet right there. What really impresses me about this rear bath is all the storage back here. Look, you've got like an entire almost closet back here. I know it's kind of dark to see there's no windows back here, but it, almost an entire closet with two levels right there. Lots of storage space. I already showed you the toilet and now let's look at this shower. I'm just gonna go right up the shower. There is a skylight right there in the shower. Very nice. Now back outside, I'm just gonna show you that nice front cap right there. Look at the amenities you've got. You've got an LP gas tank right up here to run that grill on the inside. There's your battery box will go right here. You even can plug in some extra solar right there if you wanna trickle charge those batteries if you're running off the grid. Now let me go down the campsite of your camper. And the reason why we call it the campsite is because it's got that nice big awning up there. You can put that out, it goes out about six or seven feet be out of the rain you can be out of the sun that kind of thing looks very nice right there and let me show you this pass-through storage up under that bed there's more storage right there you can put fishing poles and things like that in here in the back you've got the uh 
camera prep right up there if you wanted to snap in a backup camera, but this guy's only 17 feet. You may not need one. Let's go around over this side right here. You got your stabilizer bars. You can see there's the hot water heater, the 30 amp service to run that air conditioner and that microwave. There's your sewage right there. Nice, beautiful siding. There's that uh, air conditioner again right there. Here's your water hookups. I gotta show you right this, look that. Only 29, uh, right, just right under 3,000 pounds. You can tow this with almost anything. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the most inexpensive way to get out there, get camping, especially if there's two or three of you. We also have this model in a bunkhouse that's got two bunk beds in the back so you can sleep up to five. This is the best bang for buck. It has everything you need. It's got air conditioning, it's got heat, the bathroom in the back, places to dine, places to cook, an awning out front. That's electric, by the way. So. This really is the best bang for buck right here. So come down here and see me, Ken, down here at Camping World. Let's take a tour.